What's up, gamers? Welcome back to another Madden Ultimate Team uh, breakdown. Today we're breaking down the top five budget receivers. Here, real quick, before we do that, I felt like it might be time to show you my lineup. Uh, not because I have a great lineup, but just wanted to show you kind of who I've got playing uh, because we are trying to do a little bit more with Madden Ultimate Team. Uh, my offensive line isn't that bad. I've got uh, a bunch of the rookies. i got Jake Matthews, Glenn Robinson, um, Taylor Lewin. Uh, what I really would like to get is the uh, the Cowboys guy, uh, shoot, Zach Martin. That's who I want to get next. I want to put him uh, where IU Potty is. I really want to get an all-rookie team because I think the rookies are actually really good in Mutt. And since I don't think I'll ever be able to afford those top-end guys, uh, you know, might as well go with the rookie guys. This Barry Sander card. Uh, here's the card that I'm actually giving away. Uh, as soon as I reach 100 likes on my Facebook page, I'll be giving this card away. I mean, this guy, I mean, I, IMO for what I spent on Barry Sanders, for, I only spent like 90K. Best running back in the game. I mean, 98 speed, 99 elusiveness, 99 acceleration. His catching stats are actually really good as well. Carrying is pretty good. Uh, and especially the way running backs play in this game, you don't really need that. You know, that Sparkle Charles or that Eric Dickerson to be effective. I am pretty effective with Barry Sanders. So, uh, Bruce Miller, uh, the main reason I got him is for his 91 impact block. Um, my passing offense, and this is what we're talking about today, my uh, budget receiver cards. Uh, I got A.J. Green, pretty good card. Uh, this is probably my favorite card on my whole team. Uh, 99 catch in traffic, Steve Largent. Uh, does really good for that hit shot I run out of the bunch. Don't really need release, guys, to be honest, uh, because when you go up against the top, 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 top competition, you're not getting off the jam. So you need to just be working your unbumpable routes. Uh, then I got this Jackson card. Kind of want to get rid of this card because I don't really use it at all except for kick returning. Um, I mean, he never really does anything for me, so. But I've got him. Uh, Greg Olson, I like him. He's got 90 catch in traffic, 6'5", almost 90 speed. I got that autogram card I talked about last week, um, trying him out over the John Elway card. Uh, and then I've got my bench. I've got three good young receivers. Jarvis Landry, uh, 94 catch in traffic, pretty good there. Kelvin Benjamin, he's guy's one of my favorite cards. I mean, he's 6'5", he's got 90 catch in traffic, just a beast. Uh, Brandon Cooks, uh, he's got 95 speed, 88 catch in traffic. I'm actually thinking about putting him over Deshaun because Deshaun doesn't have, he only has 86 catch in traffic, but he does have 94 spectacular catch. Uh, my defensive front, I've got Michael Johnson, uh, and we're going to, I want to talk about him later on in the week. We'll talk about him later on, uh, later on, like at another mutt tip. But uh, he's one of the better budget cards in the game. Marcel Darius, Terrence Knighton, uh, Vaughn Miller on the right end. I uh, really like this card. It's actually a linebacker card, but uh, he's really good for the uh, the defense, the 4-3 under I've been running. Also good for the nickel 3-3-5. Uh, Mingo, I've got him on the left outside. Um, he's a really good card. Uh, I mean, look, he's got that 88 block shed, or 85 block shed, 88 speed. Derek Johnson, Bobby Wagner. Um, and then I got Danny Trevathan on the right outside linebacker here. Uh, this Trevatha card is actually really good. I mean, he's got 90 speed, 88 strength, 88 block shed. Really good card, especially if you don't need to blitz with him. Defensive secondary, I've got Kyle Fuller. Really like this card a lot. Um, I'm trying the same thing on defense, trying to get that all-rookie lineup. Uh, I've got Justin Gilbert at the second corner. He's a really good card, guys. I mean, these rookie cards are actually really good uh, from what I can tell. I've got uh, Darquise Denard. It's actually going to be a guy coming up on my rookie spotlight videos. Uh, I'm thinking about actually starting him over Gilbert because he has 93 man and 91 zone, whereas Gilbert has 93 man, 93 zone. That's kind of the only thing that's keeping them two apart, and Gilbert has a little bit higher speed. I got Ha Ha Clinton Dix. I love this card. This is one of my favorite cards on my team. 91 speed, 90 zone coverage, and his hip power rating is off the charts. He's got 80 tackling as well. He's almost got an 80 man coverage. I mean, I could put him a corner if I wanted to. And then I got Dion Buchanan from the cards. 94 speed, 86 zone coverage. I start him over Mike Mitchell simply because of the speed. He's two points higher in speed, and that's the only real reason. Uh, I've also got this Jimmy Ward card, and he sucks flat out. I mean, he just sucks. He doesn't have any rich man stats. I mean, I thought he would have, like, really high hit power because he's on the Niners. He has a little bit better zone coverage than Dion Buchanan does. Um, Mike Mitchell actually has 93 zone. And you'll see, I mean, 
he has 87, but he terrible tackling, terrible man. I mean, just nowhere near as good as uh, some of the other guys. So I got this Bradley Roby card as well, 95 speed, 93 man, 90 zone, decent card. Uh, but, yep, yeah, that's what I'm rocking right now. So I uh, got Rob Baronis, but I actually start Josh Scobie. He's on my reserves right now for some reason. I'll have to put him back in there. But I uh, run the Atlanta playbook and the Cincinnati defense. I was running New York for a while on defense, but I've changed my mind. Going back to Cincinnati, uh, which is what we were running actually in the beginning of the year. So there's my lineup update. And uh, you know what? We'll go ahead and talk about this top five. It's going to be a little longer video. Sorry about that. But uh, top top five wide receivers. Now this is going to be a little bit easier because I already know who I want to talk about today. Uh, so let's go in here and show you. Um, guys, one of my favorite budget cards is this Julian Edelman card. And uh, it's only typically like the, I mean, look here. It's only forty five hundred coins or five k. It's typically right in there. And you see, got ninety two catch of traffic, ninety two route running, ninety four catching. Just a really good card, especially if like a slot receiver role in your offense. Really good. And this is a card that you can get if you don't want to pop for that Steve Largent card. Um, but just a really good card overall. This Jordy Nelson card isn't bad. He's actually the cheapest card on the block. He's got uh, ninety four catch of traffic, ninety spectacular catching. 95 release, which is really good, and 93 speed. So this is a nice guy if you want to maybe put out a solo receiver to one side. Uh, I like the Crabtree card a little bit better personally because it has a little bit better spectacular catch. I mean, if we look here, Nelson has the same catch in traffic, but Crabtree has a little bit higher spec catch. And Nelson has a little bit better release. So, I mean, whatever you want to do there, between those two cards is who I would go with with my number one slot. And then uh, the other card that I want to talk about is this T.Y. Hilton card. It's a really good card. It's got 97 speed. It's got I was using this card for a while actually, and it's got 92 uh, or 90 catch in traffic, 92 spec catch, 94 catch, 91 release. Just a really good card. You can put him back in kick return with him. A lot of versatility with him. Uh, this Demarius Thomas card isn't bad as well. Um, but uh, and then there was one other one I wanted to show you is this 94 overall, and this was my solo receiver for a long time. Um, Odell Beckham Jr. Wow. Uh, but this Steve Largent card, here's the uh, – that's probably my number one budget card. Um, so if I had to rank them in top, in top five stats, I would go five T.Y. Hilton, four um, Michael Crabtree, three – or Michael Crabtree, Jordan Nelson, that combo card, and then uh, three Julian Edelman, and then two I would rank this guy right here. If I could find him, where is he at? Where is he at? Where is he at? Dang, I can't find him. Maybe he's not. Maybe he's not on the block. Let me check his team real quick. So the Saints. There he is. Wow, twenty-three k. Man, I bought this card for like five k. Wow, I guess they up the stock. But this card is really good. It's Marcus Colts card. Ninety-seven catch in traffic. 96 catch, 97 release. I shouldn't have gotten rid of this card. I think I sold it for way cheaper than it was worth. So then I guess I won't recommend him because he's 23k. So let me show you guys another guy that I really like in the same in the same bracket of overall, uh, and kind of does the same thing. If I can find him, this Jordy Nelson card is not bad. Um, not the Sammy Watkins card. Nobody wants Sammy Watkins. Let me show you why. This Sammy Watkins card isn't as good because it doesn't have very good catch in traffic. The other one has good catch in traffic. But um, this Andre Johnson card ain't bad. But I can't remember who I was going to – who my backup guy was. This Wes Walker card is really good. 96 catch in traffic. But, again, I don't think it's better than the Steve Largent card. The Larry Fitzgerald card would be the only other card that I would put in the same bracket and the same uh, value as the Marcus Cole. So, I mean, as you can see, it's not quite as good, but it's got 90, almost 97 spectacular catching. It's got 92 catch of traffic. I think I value spectacular catch more than catch of traffic at this point, but uh, I still have highly value catch of traffic. I mean, you're going to see that by my number one overall budget card. But uh, it's got decent speed, not great for a receiver, but he's going to be that solo guy. And uh, just a really good overall card, in my opinion. Uh, but I still think that that if you could f typically you can find that Marcus Colson card for cheaper. So uh, I would recommend him as well because I remember I got him for like 
nothing. I got him for like 5K or 7K. But the Steve Larger card is the number one budget card in my opinion. I mean, look at this, 3,500 coins, and guess what you get? You get 96 route running, 98 catching, 94 spectacular catch, 99 catching traffic. Yes, you don't. Yes, you lose some speed, but this guy is the best budget slot receiver in the game. It's better than Julian Edelman, better than Wes Welker. I mean, this guy rivals. Let's show you what the 99 overall Steve Largent is. Let me just show you. Not a whole lot changes. I mean, really, not a whole lot changes. As far as um, if I can find him here. Not a whole lot changes as far as uh, talent, as far as ratings go. I mean, really, the only real couple things that change, if I can find a Steve Largent card, where is he? You know what? Maybe they don't have any Steve Largent cards. Man, let me go to their team. But uh, the only thing, if I remember correctly, that really changes from the 94 overall to the 99 overall is I think he gets a little bit better speed. That's it. That's it. Here it is. Okay, so look. He has 100 catching as opposed to 98. He has 96 route running in the 94 overall. Here, let me just show you. Let me just sort them by their name. Oh, well, anyway. But, look, I mean, it's it's 60,000 coins more expensive. And all you get is 8 points higher in speed and a little bit higher in every other category. But I'm telling you, the 94 version of this is really good to start out with. I personally would get, you know... I have one because I don't really have any other spot where I could put him. But if I was running like a spread, I would have two. I'd have one in each slot. And um, that's what I love for Steve Largent. So next week we're going to talk about the tight ends. And uh, we'll show you some tight ends and how we like to use uh, our coins wisely in there with a budget series as well. But uh, if you like this series, remember check out my Facebook page, facebook.com slash mindtips365, and uh, you uh, will actually receive a free e-guide uh, when that comes out. So check that out, guys. Thanks a lot. Hope you enjoyed this. Let me know if I uh, missed something or if you guys thought that there was something that was a little bit better value that I missed, and uh, we'll talk later. Thanks, guys.